I'm at Lunkin Airport, the General Aviation Reliever Airport for Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm so pleased I've been invited to Signature Engines. Bill Schmidt, thank you so much. Oh. My first visit here in the four years I've lived in, in this city, and as an aircraft owner and pilot for over 45 years, there's nothing more important to me than that that windmill up front that's driven by a good engine. And of course, uh, you are famous right here in the States for what you do in terms of engine overhaul or exchange. And so I'd love, as an owner, to really understand the process if I could. Okay, okay, this is where we uh, disassemble the engine and uh, prepare it for cleanup. So this would be the, uh, the first department in the overhaul process. So if I send you in my engine, that would be right, right. here. What about uh, a, a, a exchange? It's the same process. We would take your core or your old engine and tear it down and overhaul it for the next customer. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't have to wait as long if I take an exchange engine. You do this after I've already got my new engine and that's it's, correct. It's, I'm flying the plane again. That's correct. Your downtime is limited. Mm -hmm. So uh, your downtime would be limited to just uh, the time that it would take to remove and replace the engine. Mm -hmm. Now, when you take my engine, for instance, if I'm doing mm -hmm. an, an overhaul on mm -hmm. my engine, do I care what you find inside? A lot of customers do. They want to know that they've been operating the engine correctly or if, or if there was some part in the engine that had an excessive amount of wear, mm -hmm. they'd like to know that mm -hmm. so they can change their pro leaning mm -hmm. procedure or, or oil changes or so forth. Mm -hmm. So yes, we do that also. Okay, so you tear down the engine, then where will you go? The second stage of the overall process would be the Magnaflux and Zyglo department. This uh, machine here is the Magnaflux machine. All the steel parts are uh, Magnafluxed uh, and checked for uh, cracks. And the black light room, sort of. That's correct. Okay. And then that's over here, black light. Uh, what's this green? Uh... The, this is the Zyglo. This is a crankcase. And so all the, the non-metallic parts are uh, Zygloed. And this is a dye penetrant type of um, dye. If there is a crack in the, uh, in the surface, it, the dye will uh, migrate into the crack, and then when we wash the part off, the dye will stay in the crack, mm -hmm. and uh, then we'll check it with a black light. And so, uh, in this room, you're really checking the quality of the metallurgy and those kinds of things, and, uh, and you're looking for 100% quality. That's correct, and, and th this is where we find a lot of cracks in crankcases, mm -hmm. crankshafts, mm -hmm. rods, rocker arms, and gears. So this is a, a very important uh, part of the overall process. Well, Bill, as a pilot behind that single engine plane, this thing, I guess I only know is it's pretty vital to the engine. Right? It is. And I don't want this to fail in metallurgy or anything else. So we've yeah. been through the, the die test, etc. And what happens over here? What he's uh, getting ready for now is to polish the crankshaft so that we can uh, get a good dimensional check on it. Mm -hmm. So after it's polished, we'll dimensionally check the uh, crankshaft. Now I hear the words uh, engine overhaul to new factory tolerances. Mm -hmm. That's what these things are checked for? That's correct. In the overhaul manual, there's two sets of tolerances. One is the overhaul tolerance specification, and one is the new tolerance specification. Mm -hmm. When we overhaul it, uh, the engine, we overhaul to factory new tolerance. That's good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> it's already been inspected, mm -hmm. uh, so we put the new parts with it, which would be the bearings, uh, the gaskets, the camshaft and lifters, and the accessories. So basically anything of the engine you've just been through inspecting that isn't any good, it's new parts here. That's correct. And, and there are uh, a lot of parts that are replaced at overhaul, mm -hmm. no matter what the condition is. Good. So you're an American company, a U.S. company, mm -hmm. that does business around the world versus a foreign company that tries to get us to send them their engines. That's correct. On the final assembly, the uh, Crankshaft is uh, put on the build-up stand 
the rods are installed, the bolts are installed and torqued, and then uh, another mechanic would uh, inspect the torque on the, uh, the rods and mark them accordingly, that they've been inspected. Once again, another sign of the quality process in terms of the double check. That's something as important as that. That's, that's correct. As the engine is assembled, everything is double checked from the rods to the counterweights to the um, cylinder hold down nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all double checked. Okay. Now this I'm familiar with, this looks like a test stand, right, of some kind? It is, it's a dyno test stand. Uh, we run the engine without a propeller. Uh, we put a water break on the crankshaft instead mm -hmm. of the so propeller mm -hmm. to, to load it down. We have full instrumentation on the engine, a cylinder head temperature for each cylinder. We have uh, oil pressure, oil temperature, fuel pressure, cylinder head temperature, throttle, and a mixture control. And we vary the uh, RPM with the uh, dyno water break. Mm -hmm. Well, how long then is, a, is an engine like this run before it's set out? Normally, uh, we would run the engine for a normal overhaul uh, two to three hours per the overhaul manual. The customer is furnished a complete test sheet mm -hmm. of the test run. Well, this sure looks a lot like what I'm familiar with when I open the cowling. It is, it is, it is. Um, this engine's been tested. Uh, it'll go through final inspection now, making sure that the engine is delivered as ordered mm -hmm. with the correct magnetos, the correct fuel injection, and any other accessories that the customer orders be shipped with the, uh, with the crate. Just going through this with you, Bill, uh, I think now as an owner, uh, and looking at uh, some of the quality controls and everything, uh, I'd probably in the past, if I needed a new engine, I'd just say to the shop, okay, take care of it. And, mm -hmm. and I'd probably, if it was a plane that I'd really had a long time, and I've had some of those, I'd want to keep the one I had and bite the bullet and wait the six, eight weeks it might take uh -huh. to do my own engine and others. But I think what you brought to this conversation is you should tell your shop where they want it to go, the same way oftentimes you tell your avionics shop what box you want put in. That's and right. So the educated owner really ought to be looking for a place like Signature that has this kind of quality. That's correct. You, uh, an informed uh, consumer like yourself is, is the best uh, sales tool. Well, I'm better informed now that you've taken me through this process. <laughs>